okay basically we were discussing purchasing in which whenever you would require item you are going to raise a requisition and that requisition if it is the first time we are going we are, we are going to buy that item so definitely you would require negotiations negotiations with supplier when we are going for negotiations with supplier the documents which are required for negotiations is or it is request for quotation and quotations because you are raising a request for quotation with multiple suppliers and those multiple suppliers in turn they are replying with quotations when they are sending the quotations simply after receiving the quotations through courier or email or fax whatever it may be the same thing you are recording because because you are the buyer and you want to track all the all the negotiations with respect to the supplier so in this process what of the request for quotation you raised that is only one document you have sent to multiple suppliers then we are getting all the quotations from multiple suppliers after receiving multiple quotations we are going to compare because those quotations we have to prepare in the system again against the same rfq then we are going to have multiple quotations and we compare those quotations then we do the best analysis like what are the quote analysis you do to decide the best supplier so once the best supplier has been decided you go ahead with purchasing purchase order will be prepared purchase order is the document which will be the legal document between supplier and organization because where organization is using oracle applications in oracle application they open the purchase order screen and they will create purchase order and they mention the shipments and distributions then they get approval of the purchase order then once it is purchase purchase order has been approved then the purchase order will be printed and that report will be sent to supplier that is the legal document between supplier and organization against that purchase order supplier sends the goods and those goods will be received this is actual purchasing process i'm going to show you the entire scenario simply let me do one cycle of creating a requisition from that request for quotation from that multiple quotations we compare the quotations let us decide the best supplier from the quotations because quotations once you compare everything will be stored in catalog catalog what is catalog catalog meant for all the data so what are the negotiations you have done and those those documents like negotiation documents nothing but quotations and rfqs those quotations and rfqs will be stored in a catalog that catalog meant for uses in future you would require the same item to be bought again then you refer the catalog so that the information of negotiations will be there so that what are the negotiations you had earlier that is available in the catalog and see the catalog then get the supplier details then contact the supplier and simply without negotiations also you can have a business with supplier because based on the previous negotiations those document those documents have been stored as a catalog and that catalog will show you all the information that's what we are going to see and after that we get the purchase order creation and approval after entering the shipments and distributions then we receive the item so let us see simply you just concentrate on the class because we are going to discuss osp which is very important scenario with respect to purchasing and manufacturing because osp is the one where we are integrating purchasing module with manufacturing so before before that let me show you the purchasing process first okay now first we start with requisition right so requisitions will be created simply just concentrate on the class because this day i already shown like the requisition creation and getting the approval i am showing getting the approval also once it is approved we are going to create rfq then 
multiple suppliers will be selected in the RFQ and we enter price breakup. Then we receive the quotations. What are the quotations you received through courier or email or fax? So then we are going to track on the system against the same RFQ. Then we are going to create multiple quotations. Multiple quotations we are going to compare to decide the best supplier. Once the supplier has been decided, we are going for purchasing by raising a purchase order from the same requisition. Then purchase order which is having multiple shipments and each shipment will be having distributions and having the control of receipt routing two-way, three-way, four-way, like we call it as direct, standard and inspection required. And all these things we are going to fill and after that we are getting the approval of purchase order. Once the purchase order has been approved, we are going to receive the item against the purchase order. That's it. And then we will check the inventory quantity whether it has been increased or not. That's what we are going to see. And after that, what is OSP? How it is linked to manufacturing? This purchasing process, how it is linked to manufacturing process? That's what we are going to see. Now, <clears throat> requisition. So let me take test PR. Okay. Now we have the items. Select the item. I have one item like I want to buy this item okay now I added category will be defaulted description everything unit of measure everything I want the quantity of uh, let us say around 10,000 quantities okay now the price is actually 0 0.01 but let me put five okay it is fifty thousand dollars need by date by month end let me say by 31st i would require those items fine then save it after saving the requisition you get the number tag the number Drag the number so we are going to do this okay now <clears throat> this is the requisition having a status of incomplete so take the requisition number track on the notepad this is the requisition number having status of incomplete then we have to see distributions. I told you distributions charge account is very important. So this charge account is the destination account which is carried forward from requisition to purchase order because you are creating purchase order from the requisition. So it will be carried forward to purchase order. And if you want to change that charge account, first of all, you have to change the charge account in requisition. But once the requisition is approved, you cannot open. This is entry question. Can you open the purchase requisition after approval no so that is the reason once if you create a purchase order from requisition the i the charge account which has been defaulted from the requisition copied from the requisition cannot be changed why because you have copied from the requisition so it won't let you to change the charge account in case if you want to charge if you want to change it so further you have to start with requisition so that is how if you have it's not employee default account from the chart data because you are preparing so your expense account to be defaulted that is one kind one case another one is based on the item the item which is having a category for these categories one account has to be defaulted that is what account generator is the workflow which works on those particular category category items and those destination accounts can be defaulted or you can change manually while creating the requisition and that will be carried forward to purchase order that is how the charge account will be entered now we have to make sure this charge account is existing and then we have to approve click on approve when you approve it will ask submit for approval yes simply we are seeing simple case okay click okay once requisition we are tracking the requisition right okay this is the requisition number let me copy it control c then so it is done 
now let me see whether it is it has been approved or not go to requisition summary any inquiry against any document we have to go to summary like requisition having requisition summary purchase order having purchase order summary so clear then requisition number is this is the one then fine so it is approved fine now close it so once requisition is approved then let us say this item we are going to purchase first time so we don't know the supply details so we are going to create a request for quotation so when i go for request for quotation directly i am preparing request for quotation but based on the requisition we have to prepare for that we have to use auto create functionality it is very important question what is auto create functionality auto create functionality by which you can create you can add to the existing quotations or existing rfq existing purchase orders whatever it may be so let me see how to create clear and having a requisition number this is the requisition number fine when you find the requisition the lines are ready okay now this is the line select i entered only one line so you can see that now create action is create or add to add to means you can add to existing purchase order also or existing rfq also but i am creating new but not standard po i am creating rfq now create by automatic okay create this is the rfq having a number it is 5000 let me take this rfq number is 5000 and the status is in process you have to change it active then i told you for this item this is the price target price but price break up always if say market price is around 3 okay 3 dollars Save the record. Market price is three do three dollars. Let me go to price breakup. I have price because we are carrying like the price from purchase requisition. Then we have ten thousand quantities. When you buy ten thousand quantities, one item five price five dollars. But ten thousand we get fifty percent discount. Okay, when you enter fifty percent discount, press tab. the price becomes 1.5 okay similarly if you are buying 1000 items okay sorry 1000 items then let me say here <coughs> the discount is 25% if you buy if you buy only 1000 now let us say if you are buying only one item it will be 10 dollars sorry okay now no discount zero okay so you are entering 10 here but it is taking from the line okay so what are the price you entered in the line that will be taken and percentage will be calculated based on that only if you want to change as a 10 then definitely you can enter the target price target price as 10 in the lines then the percentage will be calculated based on the the price target price that is 10 okay so now here it will take only 3 so 0% so you can see if you buy only one item then it will be 3 dollars save the record i saved this is what price break up meant for and in case if you are not entering any organization and it is meant for all organization that's it if you entering if you are entering the organization this this data will be related to only one organization then i told you this rfq should be sent to multiple suppliers but i have to check the suppliers to whom we are going to send this document so you have to select supplier one by one here how many suppliers you are going to select so let me take three suppliers first supplier next second supplier third supplier let me take hd transportation okay now save the record 
fine okay now okay close this then this rfq has been saved we got the 5000 is the number you want to print you can print the document you can print the document from the view request you have to run the you have to run the request that is rfq for all the supply with all the supplier names it will print the rfq rfq printed rfq xml okay now report type all are changed are new new request rfq from 5000 to 5000 because i want only one rfq okay submit no fine this rfq report will show you the supplier details also because rfq we are raising same rfq but each supplier name should be there when you are having different suppliers so with supplier name that rfq because supplier should know that somebody is requesting to me only in case you are having so another supplier name and you are sending to another supplier then what happens the supplier confuses and uh, he, he, he will be confused and he, he would say that and he would say that like the supplier name is different so i'm not the i'm not going to be a supplier even though i react to this rfq i reply to this rfq by sending a quotation already started negotiating you will come to know that that you have started negotiate negotiation with multiple suppliers so in this process once it's completed it completed see the output you can see the output See, this RFQ is having different suppliers. How many suppliers you have selected? Those many suppliers will be there. And those many RFQ, RFQs will be printed. Three RFQs will be printed with all the three supplier details. We have to print it on each page. And respect to supplier pages, we have to pack in a courier. And you have to send it to the respect to supplier. Okay, that is the report. Now, request for quotation has been raised. So, let us say we sent. Now we closed. So, one day has gone. Today, 29th. We raised 29th on 29th and we sent the couriers. Supplier might have received on 30th. 31st, we got quotation through courier or email or fax from the supplier. Now, what you will do? What you will do is simply you go to quotations because you have to prepare quotation now based on the received quotation from the supplier so if you open the quotation you will not have the reference because supplier has replied based on your request for quotation first open the request for quotation how to open the existing data it is nothing but f11 give the number that is 5000 control f11 that's it then from this rfq you create quotations so copy document tools copy document action create enter enter rfq you select type i want to prepare standard quotation supplier see the list of values it will show you only three because you requested for quotation for three suppliers so whatever the quotations you received that received quotation will be from any of these suppliers any one of these suppliers three suppliers so let me take the first supplier okay click ok that's it this is the quotation number this is the quotation number okay now it is in process we have to make it active then similar to rfq see this time we are creating quotation means you know the price exact price from this supplier 
Do you agree? Because supplier has sent the quotation. Based on the, that particular physical quotation, you are going to update in the system. So in the system, you are going to enter the exact price. What is that price? Let us say he didn't agree for three. He agreed for four. Save the record. When you entered four, when you go for price breakups, you would say, so accordingly, if it is 50%, he agreed for not 50%, he agreed for only 25% instead of 50. See, that becomes this much. So when this is, when you are buying 1000 items, he didn't agree for 25, it's just agreed for 10%. Price increases, just observe. Then here for one item, the price will be, he didn't agree for three, he agreed for five. Save it. That's it. It is a confirmation. There is no discount. When you are buying one item, this is the confirmation from the supplier. So you have to approve. Click approve. You are approving to create a document that is all orders, whatever, the, whatever you are going to create a quotation. And you are approving all the orders related to this quote, particular quotations. And you could say, you would say that like, what are the approval I'm doing for this quotation? It is due to best service or best quality or only source or lowest price. Let us say lowest price or best design, best design. Click OK. Quotation has been approved. Close it. OK. Now we have this is RFQ and we created only one quotation, but another supplier has sent another quotation. So let us prepare another quotation. Go to tools again, copy document, action, enter RFQ, type, standard quotation, supplier, second supplier, click OK. Then new quotation has been created, 4001. So let us track that. So next quotation is 4001. Now Make it active, don't forget. Then he confirmed the price as not three. You might have confirmed as six. Save it. Control S. Then go to price breakups. He didn't agree for 50%. He agreed for only 5%. He didn't agree for 25%. Instead, only 3%. Here, nothing. Zero. But the price is seven. If you buy only one. Save it. Approve it. Type. Enter. All orders. Reason. Best quality, let us say. That is the reason which is costly. Click OK. Quotation has been approved. Click OK. OK. Now, this quotation has been approved. Let me create third quotation. Means, third supplier also sent the facts. So after receiving the facts, now create the quotation. Go to tools, copy document, action, enter RFQ, type a standard quotation, then supplier, third supplier. Then click OK. New quotation have been copied from the RFQ and the quotation document is 4002. And we have to tag. 4002 now the price he agreed for all the price like whatever we asked he agreed price same everything has been agreed okay close it save it now close it no changes so because you have to change it make make the first this is the first act which you have to do save it now approve it entire all the orders fine then reason lowest price okay click ok i have been approved close this now what you have done you have requisition which has been approved from which you created rfq one rfq has been sent to multiple suppliers now we have multiple suppliers then all those suppliers have sent the quotations 
then you prepare the quotations again is the same rfq from different suppliers so we have all the data now go to quote analysis we did requisitions then rfq quotations then quote analysis let us go to quote analysis we know that quote analysis we have three quotes against same rfq there is rfq number our, our rfq is 5000 find see all these lines if you analog like you can see why are you getting multiple lines you know that price breakups you enter three lines that means each quotation is having three lines three multiplied by three that is nine nine lines will be there if you check with all the prices this is what nine lines okay if you want to compare like you can export to excel from file export okay now open this it so this is what all the quotation lines so you can compare in excel it's very easy to work out so definitely you can work you can delete what are the columns you don't require so like this you can work so what are the columns you want you do not require you just delete it okay that's it you can compare like reply date so this is the date on which supplier has replied and this is the supplier name so you can see for each supplier we have three lines why because we have price breakups three lines for each item so each line item in the quotation so three quotations we have three suppliers three multiplied by three that is nine close it then quote analysis we can, you can decide the best supplier okay now we decide the best supplier from the quote analysis from this uh, you can compare the price let me see like which is having the which is having the lowest price lowest price is three that is coming from when you buy when you buy like uh, you have 10,000 quantities you get the price of three and you have 10,000 items okay with a price of 1 or 1.5 so I can decide AD transportation is the best supplier now let us create purchase order so auto create we know the requisition number go to the requisition number the requisition number is this is the one I'm copying this clear don't forget to clear requisition number fine when you have the requisitions lines select create standard pivot this time not rfq or anything else standard pivot automatic then supplier i know the supplier best supplier i can select the supplier who is the supplier from this i can say this is the supplier copy that okay now you can find from the list of values here simply paste it and find you'll get it click ok create that will create a purchase order to be approved see incomplete is the status supplier is there site is there ship to site supplier to ship which location you can see i want at one location fine save it now the price we got it from the ad transportation is is different if you want to get the price from this supplier we have to see from catalog i told you what are the negotiation you have done with respect to this supplier that will be stored in catalogs now let us see catalogs you can update only price click yes clear i want for this item okay from this supplier what are the items we bought it 
out of what are the negotiations you have done click fine okay for one out one item we have negotiated with this supplier and the price is this is what the price wherever is the lowest price wherever it is okay nine line price and the breakup price for 10,000 which one is the lowest let us see see 10,000 having 3 10,000 3.6 nothing so we have these many okay 10,000 1.5 is also there okay so let me select this select that's it see price has been updated save it this is how we can use the catalog you will come to know exact price from the different suppliers or whatever the supplier who is providing the best price for 10,000 quantities you can get it so that's what we can do from the price breakups and catalogs it's very important question what is supplier catalog supplier catalog what are the negotiations you have done with respect to multiple suppliers those negotiations will be negotiations will be stored in catalogs and that catalog you can refer and whichever is having the best price for the total quantity that you can select that's it you have done now go to shipments 10,000 items i do not require at one location i want let me take 2500 at one place and i can have remaining 7500 at one place or you can select another another organization and you have to you have to make sure all the quantities should match with the parent quantity that is 10000 only then how can you say that 2500 7500 10000 is over so just I will, I will update here it is around 5000 not 5000 let me take 4500 then remaining quantity will be here so this organization is not these two organization i want at ncd okay it is north carolina okay north carolina is another log another organization another area okay so north carolina distribution center dc means okay now what happened what is the quantity see total summation should match with parent quantity that is 10,000 that's what I told you earlier 10,000 2,500 plus 4,500 plus 3,000 total it is 10,000 so it is done shipment in the more tab I told you it is three way PO three way PO and if you want match with receipt I told you three way means PO quantity received quantity and invoice for received quantity only that means we have three quantities here PO quantity that is 10,000 received quantity how much if you received only 5,000 5,000 should be invoiced it means you have to make a payment against 5,000 items only not 10,000 items so if you have want to control with the receipt whatever the items you received that much only you have to pay if you simply match with PO, then what happens then even though you received 5,000 you can pay against 10,000 items that won't be happening at any time so what are the items you received for the received quantities you have to rise the invoice so let me take a receipt here receipt here PO okay let it be now it is when it is PO direct two way okay now let me take one is four way fine four way see the message okay so that is what receipt routing we have to see go to receipt routing here inspection required click ok because it is four way what is four way PO quantity receipt quantity then out of received 10,000 is the PO quantity you might have received only thousand out of thousand how much you inspected and you received only 500 then your billing your payment should happen against 500 items that's what PO quantity receipt quantity accepted quantity after inspection then invoice that invoice should match with your inspected and accepted quantity that's it now for three way for three way receiving control direct delivery if it is three way it should not be direct delivery it should be standard it is three way and receipt so it should be standard not direct
fine click ok for direct for two way let me select it should be direct it is direct that's fine this is what the combinations you have to select now save the record when you save the record you have to see for each shipment there is a distribution because distribution will talk about I told you charge account see it is coming from requisition so this quantity should match with shipment quantity okay in case you want against 2500 you want second line then it has to be it can be 2500 like that you can enter but you cannot have more than 2500 because your shipment quantity is 2500 then how can you make distribution for this line as 2000 more than 2500 no you have to make sure if this is the shipment if you have multiple distributions all the quantities together should match with 2500 that is the quantity from shipment that's it similarly for 4500 you will have the distributions of 4500 in case if you want to have multiple lines and you have to make sure all the quantities together it should be equal to 4500 quantities only similarly for third line 3000 and the distribution line should be 3000 or if you are having multiple multiple lines of distributions then all together should be equivalent to 3000 that's it everything is done now let us approve same the message you got at the time of requisition approval requisition pr num of course po number we have not taken let me take this PO number, copy it. Then we have this is the purchase order. PO number is this is the number. Go to application, approve. Click OK. that's it it is approved see the purchase order has been approved so nothing just after that we have to what you have to do the store guy will switch over to inventory responsibility store guy when he receives let us say he is going to receive after one week let us say what that one week has been you know that date has been reached so now we are receiving I am the storekeeper I will open transactions go to receiving I am receiving it I selected three organizations in the shipments one is bri another one is woo another one is ncdc right so i am making receipt against the purchase order first i have to make a transactions receiving receipts receipt is the document which is the proof for the receiving the items from the supplier when you make receipts now it is asking which organization i will select bri now you know that clear and our operating unit is this then purchase order is i know the purchase order number click tab you have selected what is the organization bri okay fine that's it this is the receipt header okay this is the receipt header this is the information of lines okay against that receipt okay this number will be generated when you save the record first of all this is the line but it is not equivalent to 10,000 why because you know that shipments we are having three lines and we are we entered BRI against that we entered only to 2,500 that's it select the line and you have selected is it direct or standard receipt see it is showing standard receipt means this it should be required okay now save the record destination type is receiving okay I think periods are not open periods are not open let me close this
periods are not open let me take if periods are not open now it will be low no okay that's it save close it okay now transactions receiving receipts clear operating unit purchase order number fine we have the header then we have the receipts okay so this is the quantity 2500 destination type is receiving save the record select the line save the record when you save oh gl periods are not open i have to open all the periods okay let me get, take some time here let me navigate to purchasing i have to open the periods so periods so go to setup organizations purchasing yeah yeah financials where is open close control l if you are not finding period open close periods Okay, period is up to June. I want fifteen. Okay, fine. Latest open is April. So open next period. Open next period. April May. Target period up to June. Let me take June two thousand fifteen. Open. Yeah. Yes, that's over. then then we go for another one control l search for period then we did open close now just now control control purchasing periods now when you go for control purchase periods it's taking time let, let it come okay meanwhile now let us do let us go to inventory again inventory now transactions are receiving are receipts i know the organization what i am doing bristol now clear and the operating unit so purchase order number i know that then fine you got it now select this line save the record still it is come okay it has come okay now 2015 let me take go to the 2000 never opened september okay may it's not open open in june also let me open save the record okay now it is open so july february you okay. can next one may june has been open okay close now let us do that so the card it will be saved now periods are open
that's it saved now go to a header the same form opens but you have the receipt number have you observed this is receipt number so po and we have the receipt number this is receipt number now you go to header receipt number this is important take the receipt number close it next receiving transaction what is receiving transaction what is the difference between receipt and receiving transaction receipt meant for the document like that is the proof of the receiving transaction but receiving transaction we are delivering the item to the store okay now let me do against the receipt number what is the receipt number just now i took this is the one fine enter and find you will get the same line quantity 2500 and inventory just a minute Okay, now I have to save it. But have you observed at the time of receipt, the destination type is receiving. Now the destination type is inventory. The main difference is if it is receiving, it is called in transit. If it is inventory, it is called delivery to the store. That you have to remember. Now, when it is inventory, it is asking sub inventory. Have you seen that? Even though you are not entering, now save it. It will give you a message. Field must be entered. It won't let you to save. You have to select which sub inventory you are going to select. I want to put in which sub inventory. We have all these are sub inventory. So receiving sub inventory, RCV, I want to keep. But whenever I receive the item, I keep first in receiving sub inventory. If you want to keep like this, okay. Now save it. Done. Field must be entered again because receiving it is locator control. It is asking which locator. So combinations, combinations. Then go for. This is the default. Default locator is RCV. Save the record done okay now find again torch icon meant for find the same receipt find no records why you have done with 2500 quantities have been received okay so
okay no records that's it now everything is done close it now if you see this 2500 quantity that has that might have gone to inventory and you can see in on hand quantity that is navigation is this is if you go for this on hand quantity then it will show you this 2500 okay of course already the quantity is existing that will be added up okay the item is this and the sub inventory that we deliver to rcv fine that's it 2500 earlier there was no quantity now have you got it similarly we have two other organizations so i have received at bri now i want to receive at w o o change organization change to organization w o o now and to take the same purchase order number the purchase order number is this is okay now receiving again same transactions receiving receipts then PO number clear PO number is this fine this is header select again periods are to be opened I think let me save it yeah periods are open save it see 4500 this time okay if you go to header you might have got the receipt number this is the receipt number booster receipt number is this is the number now take this number next receiving transaction receipt number is this fine you got 4500 this time have you observed here inspection is enabled and there is an inspection remark non is not inspected so that is what fourth fourth time you have to do that is let us see now receiving have you observed here now, now that's it where you want to receive location it is asking i want to receive at plant fine save the record done find again same receipt number find you got it this time see inspection the same thing receiving inspection we have to click we have not completed right we have not inspected it is asking without entering the inspection you cannot do it now let me let me enter the inspection here I have to enter because here that quality these are the parameters approval date today's date or quantity how much let us say I received 4500 okay inspection result accepted accept like that you have to enter save the record click OK simply okay now save the record done okay again click on touch same receipt number then find you got it this time destination type is inventory last time it was receiving until and until and unless you got the destination type as inventory then you save the record then only this item quantity will go to the inventory keep in mind as long as it is receiving you cannot see the item quantity in inventory that's a very important question now everything is done fine sub inventory because it is delivery you have to so i am keeping and receiving let me take rcv now locator will be r dot c dot v okay clear i want to see that's it receipt receiving RCV is the locator I think yeah save the record that's it now find again 
see there is the same receipt number find again no records so this is what the difference between standard and inspection if you have direct I told you I have selected third organization as NCDC right see now let me go to NCDC NCDC change organization NC N where is N NCDC okay now transactions receiving receipts what is the PO number PO number is same for all organizations right the PO is this copy this then PO number purchase order number press tab find same receipt it doesn't require even though see it is directly destination type as inventory see there is no receiving have you observed earlier it was receiving next inspection next to delivery that time you got inventory but directly test comes see save it over it's keeping so directly it will go to the inventory that is the only difference between now the important thing is this is what the complete purchasing process that's what we have seen it is second time I am repeating that is the reason I am a bit faster okay here the complete cycle of getting a requisition approval then we are going to discuss what is approval hierarchy next class is the hierarchies how we are going to build the approval hierarchy how we are getting the approval in case it has to be different levels like I'm not the approver I have the limit right now so I'm getting approved so only thing is in case you are not having the limit purchase order value is 5000 and you have the limit of hundred dollars then you cannot approve you have to send it to your manager manager might be having a limit of thousand so five thousand he cannot approve he will approve to forward to next level and that next level person will approve in case he is having the document limit of fifty thousand or ten thousand or whatever it may be so that's what we are going to see that's what we discuss in purchasing approval hierarchies now position hierarchy that is now we know now purchasing process where we simply buy the item and you receive the item from the supply similarly right now there is an item you are receiving but there is no item sometimes we have to buy services I will tell you manufacturing will have simple example Tata Motor is the company which is manufacturing cars outside processing is the one where outside processing is nothing but purchasing link to manufacturing without linking to manufacturing this is normal procure to pay cycle where we buy the product and get the raw material into the stock and whenever production requires those items we have to issue like you buy the tires Tata Motor will buy the tire with same procedure the requisition will be raised for tires request for quotation will be raised will be sent to multiple suppliers like MRF GK tires or Michelin then all the quotations will be received we compare what is the best tire and like different types of tires are the alloy wheels tubeless tube with tube all these things okay now rim rim type of or or alloy wheel type of tires so all these types of tires you are going to buy but these are all raw materials simply there is no requirement of outside processing here but outside processing I am giving an example the same Tata Motor example Tata Motor is the company and which is manufacturing car customer wants to buy the item from Tata Motor Tata Motor is using Oracle applications customer has approached and there is a sales order from Tata Motors through which they are selling the item to customer customer has come with purchase order the same way we raised the purchase order because we want item customer needs the item so customer raises the purchase order that purchase order will be saved as sales order when we are using sales module that is order management module we will see when we discuss order to cash but in this process when a customer approaches for a car the starter motor which is using Oracle application wants to ship the item but before shipping customer has requested 
Of course, Tata Motor is manufacturing car. It will consume tires, engine, uh, brake, clutch, uh, steering, everything. Then it gets the item. Car. Okay. Car has been manufactured. Now, customer doesn't require car without Teflon coating. What is Teflon coating? That is a protector. Scratch. Scratch guard again. Mobile will be, your cell phones will be having screen guard similar to that for cars in order to reduce the scratches over the body we have teflon coating whenever you try to that will be slippery that will be slippery so teflon coating is the one customer is requesting before delivery but tata motor is not having tech teflon coating let us say tata motor simply manufactures Whereas customer requires car with Teflon coating. Car has been manufactured. Car item is quanti quantity is there. I can ship it. But customer requires with Teflon coating. But Tata Motor is not having Teflon coating. That equipment is not there or, or resource is not available. Means labor. The workman, uh, uh, worker is not available. So they are not maintaining so Tata Motor should approach another vendor means he has to approach to a supplier who does the Teflon coating for the same car Tata Motor is selling the item to the customer but the same item should be sent to another supplier of Tata Motor, not the customer. Customer nowhere, you know, in the picture. Customer simply places the, places the order over. So that order has been, we confirmed as sales order in the system. Because I am from Tata Motors, I am using the system. I will open the order management. I will create a sales order. And I mention the customer. And what item? Tata Motor item. Any item. It can be Tata Indica, or Safari or anything. But he requires with Teflon coating. But Teflon coating, infrastructure or lab or whatever it may be, every equipment is not there in our work center. In our plant, Tata Motor plant. So what it does, item is ready. But Teflon coating is not ready. So Teflon coating is not available in Tata Motor. So I have to send this Tata Motor car to the supplier of my company. I am representing Tata Motor. So there is a vendor who does Teflon coating for all the car. So I request for my car for Teflon coating. So this car I will send to the garage where Teflon coating is available. So I will send the item to Garage. That garage person is supplier to me, to Tata Motors. That means I have to raise a purchase order. I have to raise a purchase order with respect to that garage person. Garage person, garage person who is doing Teflon coating. That means I have to raise the purchase order. But the service, it is a kind of service. That will be done from the manufacturing module if you switch over to WIP it is manufacturing module where we have a resource the important thing is for OSP bills of in the bills of material we have resource this resource is outside processing resource let us take manufacturing plant now here anything OSP if you see you find Anything OSP is there? See, if you see here, OSP resources. OSP resource. OSP, whenever there is a description with OSP, that means OSP, we are getting from outside. Let me take one resource. This is the resource. Okay. This resource has been defined with a code description for this item. For this item, to get this item, I want this OSP resource. Pure move. See, there should be pure purchase order. Here, the charge type is very important. 
pure move pure receipt wip move and manual means what purchase order means there will be a price so what is the price you paid to the supplier that much you have to charge to your work order that is nothing but representing discrete job because i'm going to do the scenario because while discussing manufacturing again we will discuss but as we just now i gave the gist of purchasing so i want to correlate with osp which is very important scenario and very complicated one if you do not understand listen this video file multiple times now we will discuss again in manufacturing not only th this time okay here there is type it is machine are you getting from the supplier as a machine service or miscellaneous or a person labor charge you are getting or very currency okay all these things we have different types of resources now pivot move meant for you raise a pivot the moment you receive the pivot means you are going to receive the services the way you received just now items by raising a receipt okay just pivot has been approved that means from manufacturing plant the production engineer who is manufacturing he would require some services from external supplier at one point and that point when we reach to that point that is nothing but operations we have operation 10 20 30 we will see in the manufacturing okay so when you reach to certain operation where you would require this coating then this item has to be sent to the supplier so that means when it has to be sent, purchase order has to be raised. When the purchase order has been approved, that is nothing but PO move. PO receipt means PO has been created, approved, but still you didn't make a receipt. Receipt means you have to receive the service, right? PO receipt has to be raised. When you make a receipt, that time you are going to charge to what is the price and what is the quantity. Total, you are going to include in the WIP job, WIP work card. You will not understand now WIP work order what is discrete job. You will see in the manufacturing. But I have to tell because we just now we discussed purchasing. How you are going to use this purchasing in manufacturing. Okay. Now it's very important. Charge type is very important. PO receipt, PO move, WIP move. What is WIP move? See, WIP move means when you complete that particular operation where you would require the services from outside. After completion, the charge will be incurred into the job. PO receipt after making the receipt. PO move once you approve the PO over. Then WIP move when you complete that particular operation of Teflon coating or whatever the service you are getting from the supplier. You have 10, 20, 30, 40. 30 is the outside processing. 30 has been conducted by another supplier over. From 30 you are moving to 40 when you are moving from 30 to 40 that is called wip move pure move yes pure means pure move pure will be created at the time of requisition will be created and requisition will be converted as po because po directly will not be created so you want purchase order means first of all the purchase order has to be created from requisition only that's what we have shown okay in this class similar when you want 10 20 30 30 should be from outside so when you complete a 10 20 operation 10 means let us say fabrication 20 means wheel alignment or bodybuilding or whatever it may be then 30th is teflon coating that means by 30th whatever the item you prepared that has to be sent to supplier right that's what i'm telling after completing 20 you have to send that item to supplier then supplier my supplier will do the teflon coating and send back when you receive the same item you are receiving but what extra you are getting a service that is called coating you are getting there is no physical item you can't see you can see the same car there is no extra item or anything you are getting from the supplier you are getting only services for that those services you are raising PO means PO should have a price that price you are going to pay when you receive the services so whether you are receiving the services means by indicating PO receipt, by making a PO receipt or without making a receipt, just PO has been approved. If it is direct, so you are moving simply. 
that is called pivot move and wip move means when you complete that 30th operation and you move to 40th operation and what is the charge that you incurred through PO entered you, what are the price you entered in the PO and what is the quantity of services you are getting is it for two cars or three cars or four cars that means one car what is the price thousand dollars okay for two cars two thousand so that's what total will be charged to the to the job job where that is nothing but production job job order you are purchasing to receive the item you are selling by raising a sales order you are manufacturing by creating a discrete job when you create a discrete job that job will be having different operations 10 20 30 40 50 when you complete 30 and you are about to move to 40 that means you are completing that operation that is called WIP move you are moving from 30 to 40 when I move to 40 that the price that I mentioned in the purchase order the value to be charged to work order that is discrete job that is what is the what are the quantities you are going to manufacture those many quantities you are going to charge what are the pivot value you paid that much value will be prorated prorate you know it's nothing but it, it will be assigned to each item in case you are manufacturing 10 items your purchase order price total value is quantity is 10 multiplied by each one is 100 10 in 10 multiplied by 100 that is 1000 1000 to be distributed across 10 means each item will be having 100 extra that extra is nothing but outside processing charge that is nothing but pivot price only and distribute pivot value total value distributed across all the items that you manufacture this is what charge type then at outside processing there is an item because I told you in the purchase order you have to get the service right that service is nothing but item only can you have item can you have purchase order without item so purchase order should have item details right so what item you are getting Teflon coating is an item that coating to be defined as an item that is as same as the same item that you define in the inventory item master you have to define this item by keeping for this item for this item for this this is the item this is the OSP item I added suffix a prefix and I defined in the item master if you take this item see I will take this item to notepad this is the item okay this is the item and description costed yes absorption account when you are moving from for 30 to 40 the values will be recorded in the respective accounts okay and there is a rate see for one for one service this is the dollar rate that you have to give this is the resource this is very important setup this resource to be defined then let us see this item how it has been defined how it has been linked to the parent item okay let me see close this okay I told you item right go to inventory change organization is W O O okay select items master item F11 give the item control F11 this is the item see same as same as same I you know but the template you apply is outside processing tools copy from OSP simply see somewhere OSP will be there outside processing see outside processing it when you apply this template what happens you know the respective it's not inventory items talkable no it is very important question you are getting service show me Teflon coating there's no item at all you have only car but there's no Teflon coating there's no item so that is the reason it's not inventory item it is service stockable no transactable no so that's it reservable yes okay bills of end see here bomb you are not you are going to use this item because service you are going to use as a bomb okay costing nothing purchasing with what is the expense account because purchase order distribution account should have this account keep in mind 
purchase order you are having shipments and distributions so similar to when you are creating purchase order for service item again it should require distribution account that this distribution account is coming from this item expense account that's it okay so organization item basically you will be looking for organization item host org attributes here let us see inventory stockable nothing reserveable okay bomb allowed costing no purchasing expense account what is expense account yes what is the list price see what is the price this is what the coming you know it is coming list price have you seen that in the purchase order with what price it will be created it with this price only it will be created this is very important and now this is the waste pay item now let us see in the manufacturing what is the parent item for this OSP OSP item this is the parent item this is how this is how we follow the naming convention convention okay see we added OSP as a OSP item and we assign to this parent item how we are going to assign to this item let us see now close it if you go to bills of material now again go to switch responsibility bills of material routing here sorry bills in the bills let me take for Worcester what's the item parent item it's not OSP item I want in the bomb this OS, OSP item should be there how it is coming let us see you find item is I told you this is not the main item this is the item okay find that's it for this item say I would require this item this component okay now if I mention OSP item here at 20th operation for 20th operation it will be sent to supplier that means requisition should be created when you complete 10 to 20 let us see any OSP job is existing I will explain by performing work order let me see how can I find out okay let me go to work in process okay now resource transaction what is resource view resource transaction okay now okay OSP resource I have to see resource okay I have taken this item right yeah this is the resource right oh, yeah fine there is no transaction okay anything let me find because I want to show you one cycle of OSP because purchasing of course we will discuss at manufacturing again that time you will understand very clearly but right now I have to give because while discussing purchasing we have to discuss OSP also so let it come so OSP you have to take care of when you have different operations at certain operation you have to send the item to the supplier and supplier will perform some action on that particular item and sends back the item to the our plant we receive the item by raising a PO receipt if it is charge type as PO move then your work order from 30 it will be moved to 40 and that charge purchase order price will be charged to work order then 50 will be considered 50 and 60 will be completed our remaining operations then you will get the Teflon coated item and when you work order your job has been completed you will get the item into the inventory that item will be picked against the sales order and shipped to the customer this is what the cycle okay with this you know we have to take the screenshots and whenever you are making any see here let us see now we have this outside processing resource any 
operations, resource information, WIPMO, anything PO, WIPMO, PO, receipt or PO, MO, WIPMO. Everything is okay. okay. Let me do one thing. I will create a discrete job manufacturing. I'm showing okay. I will create a discrete job, new job tab item assemblies. I want to make this assembly fine. Okay release start okay let me take one out four then start as today quickly okay it is manufacturing so you don't bother because we are going to discuss manufacturing again take the job number to the notepad this is job okay okay so released save the record Okay. when you manufacture this item how many items what are the raw materials required for this you can see from components to manufacture this item I would require this item okay now this is department as OSP okay this is the component now let us see quantities supply fine everything is there fine now I'm going to add this OSP item just now I took OSP item right what is the OSP item? This is the OSP item. Okay. I will add this item to job and schedules, material requirement. And I have taken the job number. This is the job number. Fine. Okay. I will add another item as OSP item. That OSP item is this. Copy. I want to add this item. Okay. At the operation of 10th only okay only one operation is there I let me open, let me add that supply type it is very important see here supply type is push assembly pull operation pull or supplier when it is supply type is supplier that means that is nothing but OSP keep in mind we have supply types very important push means manual like assembly pull means automatically when you complete the operation and final completion that time or the material will be depleted we will discuss in manufacturing operation pull means whenever you have 10 20 30 40 each completion of operation like each completion each operation completion will deplete the material that would be required at that particular operation bulk means bulk in bulk you will receive and keep the stock and as and when you require you make use of that item in the process of manufacturing supplier yes OSP that's it okay now save now for this job discrete job for this job okay if you find in the components I can see second item or speed now close it discrete job has been created now I have to move from one operation to another operation because if you want to manufacture a car I have to first do the web fabrication then welding wheel alignment then body building body engine erection clutcher clutcher clutch assembly steering all the things then painting then test drive all these operations right that means you are moving from fabrication to painting painting to body building and all body building and painting and all those things right those are nothing but more transactions I am going for more transactions manufacturing and the job number is this press tab when you complete 10th operation to 10th operation and you are going to move okay and one or four quantities I want to or let me state I want to make around 50 quantities okay save the record when you save the record if it is OSP then definitely if you go to OSP that will create a requisition actually that will run a requisition okay see WIP item there is a requisition import has been done create releases if you see import 
and there is an output saying that one requisition has been created what is that requisition let us see this this requisition request i didn't run the moment you move that operation it will be created automatically because it's not creating releases because there is a contract we have different purchase orders standard purchase order per blanket purchase release and all those things now let us see what is the requisition that has been created from this discrete job okay now go to requisition summary now i am using purchasing module go to purchasing so requisition requisition summary clear then see import source as wip see then find see you just today's date 29th may we have, we have created one requisition what is the requisition this is the requisition okay now this requisition to be created it's already created now it is approved have you seen this so what is the requisition number the pr number is this now close this i told you purchasing module purchase requisition has been created means what purchase order has to be created if you want to know if you want to create request for quotation and negotiate get the quotations compare the quotations then you want to create a purchase order with respect to one supplier it's up to you you can follow the same procedure because requisition is approved you know the procedure of creating a rfq and getting the quotations and and saving the different quotations and getting approval of all those quotations quote analysis they said the best supplier now we are creating the purchase order how go to auto create your requisition number clear requisition number is this find select create standard po click ok okay already there is a release i think okay so because we have two requests right one is requisition import another one is release already purchase release has been created we have to find out what is the release okay now go to purchase orders releases you find or otherwise you can't find right like this go to purchase order summary clear related documents your requisition number is this that's it fine no records that means we have to create okay now or purchase order summary we did already related documents question number control v fine nothing okay now what is the item like we took the item right what is the item this is the item let me find this item with this item any requisition has been created or purchase order has been created or release has been created so let me see you find okay you cannot find like this which is a summary clear the item is this is the item or you know the job number right so what is the job number so job number is this is the job number control c or you can enter the job number fine so it's not created it release okay let, let us create then so auto create simply requisition has been created that i mean that we know that auto create so go to the requisition number take the requisition number copy control c so then requisition number is this okay fine that's it this line it's not created so we are we are having this line so this is the item have you seen it is great we have not created manually it is already there in the requisition has been approved from wip job so there is a quantity you can see everything 104 okay 
okay now automatic supplier which supplier is providing this let me select let us say this supplier is selecting okay that's it pivot has been created what is the pivot this is the pivot control c pivot is i have to track pivot is this okay now we have to approve the lines you know this is the item have you seen this this is outside processing item this is the description quantity price then we have shipments one or four quantities at booster plant distributions this is what charge account this is coming from the item master in the PO purchasing tab we have expense account that is getting defaulted close this then approve it okay location is not entered okay here is the location I think somewhere where is oh ship to location is not entered okay let me set a ship to location as uh, booster plant I want it save it approve it submit we know the approved PO number right you have taken the PO number I think yeah it is a PO number now go to it is approved have you seen this yes once it is approved in the shipments have you observed here more tab we have it is two way three way three way three way means we have to make a receipt okay so close this we have to make a receipt go to inventory sorry go to inventory then transactions receiving receipts against the booster plan we have we are going to rise from booster so we have to receive at booster only what is the PO number we know the PO number we just copied 13934 so enter the PO number find receipt number you know this procedure right 104 quantity I am going to receive 12 exceeded okay fine no problem select okay saved find again we have to do the receiving transaction oh sorry I didn't get the receipt number so I let me enter the PO number I can because I have only one receipt find nothing so it is done because it is standard right receipt has been made that's it over so if you see the purchase order summary the one you raised purchase order let me go to purchase order now purchase order summary I know the purchase order number this is the number copy if you open the purchase order number I want to make sure whether I received the services or not find go to lines go to shipments here we have all the information see quantity ju zero that means you received over that's it nothing much acceptance it's not required it's no it's not four way right quantity invoice is has been not raised okay that's it over close this now you received now switch over to WIP you complete the job now go to this particular job what is the job number this is the job number okay control C now what is the job number go to job sorry we are working process discrete job discrete job booster plant what is the job number we know that this is the job right find we have all the components here this one and this one quantities this much fine now let us close this job history operations OSP now it's just to see the job details okay now I have to move okay move transaction what is the job number this is the job number press tab see the from the sequence from the step where it is we have we have completed only 
we have moved only 50 remaining 54 is there 104 quantity totally 50 plus 54 104 so that this 54 also i want to complete all to move to move is meant for final operation q means we are about to start run means it is in the process to move means it has been completed reject means something has to be reworked scrap means no need to do the rework it is waste okay so to move how much quantity 54 already 50 has been completed now i am moving 54 save it done okay now if you see the job number it will show you here to move to move see you cannot perform if everything is done only one operation is there and you have done one or four quantities that's it that's it close it when you have done all the operations then finally you have to do the completion transaction that is what we call it as completion transaction for this particular job what is the job number this is the job number continue before continuing you see here i will show you once again cancel see i enter the job number see available to complete 104 job quantity 104 zero completed just now i am going to complete now i am going to inventorize that item okay how much quantity 104 final completion that's it over done over what is the job number now let us find for this item we may we created a job right what is the parent item this is the job item right this is the parent item it's a kind of car okay this is parent item so what that osp item osp suffix is that is nothing but teflon coating keep in mind okay see job completed over if you see the quantity of this item now you can see one or four quantities how let us show let us see in inventory on hand availability for which item in Worcester and for which item this is the item this is the item okay control C item is this press find over availability over that's it and when you go for this 104 quantity you got it by consuming some service that service charge is PO price PO price multiplied by that much quantity the total value might have charged to discrete job that job value you can see when you close the job okay when you close the job like let me go to a work in process what is the discrete job you know the discrete job number right okay let me go to uh, discrete job and close discrete jobs close discrete jobs Worcester plant and our job number is this is the job number okay find the job find when you find I'm going to close close it is asking to run a report detail using actual completion quantity plant start quantity I want actuals click OK submit it it will run a request view request find close due to some problem it is error out but in actual actually that error you can see some reasons will be there okay oh material issue is not happened you cannot close it so let me take why because the supply type is if you go to components the supply type is push that means manually i have to issue the material now i will do metal transaction wip transactions for this job nothing is pending okay think okay wip metal transactions oh, okay Okay. that's it like we can the push transaction we have to issue the material that's it that will complete the transactions okay this is what the complete cycle of OSP I think it is uh, you know it's already 11 15 it is uh, lengthy class but only thing is this my OSP cycle of course I will discuss in manufacturing because we have not completed manufacturing but I want to show you how the purchasing module has been integrated with 
manufacturing module. That's what you have to catch here. For the remaining people who, who wants OSP cycle, yes, they might have understood this cycle because already somebody might have uh, got the knowledge of manufacturing and definitely they might have understood what is OSP. But you people, no need to worry. It is simply I want to show you the integration of purchasing module with respect to manufacturing. That's it. We are going to discuss complete cycle while discussing manufacturing. That's it for today. Okay. Thank you. And do you have any questions?